You probably heard of the movie Howl's Moving Castle. Quite a good movie, in fact, by a Japanese anime studio. But did you know that it was a book? And a quite interesting one, too. Hello, fellow bookwesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookwester. Today I have this awesome book to review to you guys. Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones and it's well a major motion picture and it was a really fun movie and it was even better to read the book. By the way guys I have a little bit of a cold today so um bear with me okay. Okay, let's get right on to it. Sophie is a hatter and she is quite good at making hats too, making them do exactly what they are supposed to do, such as charm boys and so on. And you see, the wicked witch of the waste put a spell on beautiful Sophie and turned her into a grandmother. <coughs> and she, knowing knowing that she has to go seek her own fortune to tell someone to get the spell up from her, she goes to find Howl's Moving Castle. It has four doors. One that leads outside that is moving. One that leads to various different towns. And Sophie, disguised as a new cleaning lady perhaps, goes inside and cleans it up like crazy. She is, she is quite good at it too. And all the rumors she heard about Howl girl eating, young girl snatching, evil how was not that kind of how at all. He was in his 20s <coughs> and he was quite handsome, although he was very annoying when he wanted to. Howl. And meanwhile, Sophie knows that Howl is under a curse by the Witch of the Waste and she herself is under a very powerful spell that makes her a 90 year old grandma. And meanwhile, the witch of the waste knows something. She is doing something to Howl, and Howl knows it. This is a book about a battle, a magical battle too, be between Howl the wizard and the witch of the waste. And there's a secret behind the witch's power, for the witch was never a bad one at first. Now she is quite an evil one. Why? Because of a very, very evil fire demon. Meanwhile, Calicifer, <coughs> How Howl's power de fire demon, together they must defeat the incredibly old Miss some sort of fire demon. Of course, Calicifer is stronger, but the old fire demon knows things that Calicifer never thought about. Could Wizard Howl defeat the Witch of the Waste and take back Wizard Solomon and the Prince Justin, who is the royal family? Can they rescue them and also defeat the Witch of the Waste and unbewitch our dear Sophie? That's for you to tell. And guys, this is a really good book. It was really thrilling and I almost couldn't let go of it. And of course, it was also fun because I, re I read uh, Castle in the Air before reading this book. And the connection between the characters was actually really good. Which is why that I was really happy reading this awesome book. And, and this is a real must read. I mean, the magical battle between Wizard Howl and Witch of the Waste. The cool scenes that you can imagine in your head, it's just absolutely beautiful. And also, it's a very good fantasy. And like always, your bookquester, I am the bookquester. A must read, and if you saw the movie, it's quite similar to the book. But some parts of the movie and the book is different. And at first, at the first half of the book, it's actually pretty much the same. But as you go on, it becomes more and more different. And you can also understand it better 
with the book. So read it.